the striking art of Yoji Shinkawa, best known for his involvement in Metal Gear Solid and Zone of the Enders. His stylistic character art shimmers through the whole franchise and he is a close friend of Hideo Kojima. Today we are going to look at this concept art and illustrations from Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Metal Gear Solid brought the cinema to the gaming industry, creating a new standard for storytelling and voice acting. The story starts off with Solid Snake infiltrating the secret Alaska nuclear disposal facility named Shadow Moses. His mission is to stop the terrorists that took over the base, who are Fox Hunt members that went rogue. And he has to rescue two hostages in the process. Snake is known for his badana, soaked in firearm and stealth suit that contains a body armor on top. Believe it or not, his physique was inspired by the actor Jean-Claude Van Damme and his face was based on Christopher Walken. Anyways, Snake has 24 hours to complete his mission in this heavily guarded facility. Moreover, there are members in his own team that try to double cross him. Nevertheless, his commanding officer, Colonel Roy Campbell, always tries to point him in the right direction. Snake soon meets up with the Colonel's niece, Meryl, a rookie soldier that refused to join the revolt and was therefore held prisoner. She has red hair, wears a tank top and prefers to use the Desert Eagle as her main weapon. During the mission Snake encounters Foxhound members, elite soldiers that will do anything in their power to take him down, such as Revolver Ocelot, a Russian American and an agent of the Patriots, Falcon Raven, a soldier that handles heavy machinery, Psycho Mantis, a psychic member that controls people's minds, and Sniper Wolf, a sharpshooter who uses mercury bullets to kill targets. One of the hostages Snake had to rescue is the chief engineer Otacon, who gets threatened by the mysterious ninja known as Grey Fox. He soon discovers that Shadow Moses was a cover up to make the nuclear battle tank known by the codename Metal Gear Rex. This machine is equipped with a real gun and a new type of laser embedded nuclear fusion rocket that could launch warheads undetected by radar. To stop the potential nuclear disaster he has to face the mastermind behind the terrorist group, his clone brother, Liquid Snake. The siblings were based on the genes of the ultimate soldier, Big Boss. Nevertheless, Liquid accused Snake to be on the better side of the genetic spectrum and therefore has a personal vendetta against them. Because they are brothers, they are similar. Their biggest difference is their blonde and dark hair color. We all know Joji Shinkawa's unique style of using black shadows effectively. Nonetheless, in his early works he mainly blocked out the clothes and hair volume. Most of these pieces were just line art, which is quite normal for concept art in general, that are sketches that should support the ink and graphic designers. If we look at his illustrations, we can see he was developing his style, as some of his promotional images do contain black shadows. His coloring technique had a light gray and toned color scheme and reminds me a bit of Final Fantasy VIII and is totally different from his future works. If you think about an espionage traded like story, then it's easy to imagine that his character designs are spot on. All are distinct and memorable. Even considering the game likes to go out of bounds with certain characters, the quirky looks resemble their personalities. What I like about this art style is that it's quite realistic, but still, without a doubt, manga. It has this mature tone in it. You can clearly see this by how he draws the nose, which is normally simplified as a triangular shape. He emphasizes the anatomical characteristics and curves with some slight touches of shadow. But in this regard he does the same for the mouth. To emphasize, most manga styles have the mouth drawn without the upper lip. He draws it with a subtle line. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty raised the bar of the tactical espionage action genre to new heights. The story starts two years after the Shadow Moses incident. Solid Snake and Otacon receive intelligence of a new type of Metal Gear being transported through the Hudson River. As Snake boards American oil tanker it's seized by a group of Russian mercenaries whose intent are to steal the new prototype codenamed Metal Gear Ray and sell it to the Russian government. It was soon revealed that Ocelot was on board as well and after he gets controlled by Liquid Snake he blows up the ship and escapes in Ray. Unfortunately Snake got caught up in the chaos and became missing in action. This time around he has a rugged beard and still has his bandana combined with a slight variation of his classical outfit. Two years later after the tanker incident, an offshore cleanup facility known as the Big Shell is taken over by a terrorist faction calling themselves the Sons of Liberty. New Foxhound operative Raiden is sent in to neutralize the threat. However, all is not as it seems and he encounters all sorts of unique individuals such as the ex-Dead Cell members, Amp and Fortune, both soldiers that have their own reality-bending traits. Moreover, he also comes across a mysterious man named Pliskin, 
who appear to be Snake. Raiden's mission soon unfolds as he gets more insight on the Patriots and he is determined to stop the Arsenal gear, a battleship that was underneath the Big Shell facility. He has blonde hair and in his original design from Shinkawa was actually based on Spider-Man by crawling on walls and that Raiden had a mentally ill personality that went as far as licking bird poop at some point. After Kojima rejected this idea, they used a similar persona for the fear in MGS3. Another idea for Raiden was to be a cyborg, which would be a shocking revelation at the last scene. This concept was transferred to MGS4. Even though Raiden's existence was a Terminator reference, he was ultimately changed into a pretty boy because a fan letter stated that it would be a shame to play as an old man's snake. Anyways, Raiden has to stop the mass production of Metal Gear Ray. Despite it being unable to launch nuclear warheads, Ray was designed as an anti-Metal Gear mech that was initially intended to be an unmanned AI system. In the end, the leader of the Sons of Liberty is known as Solidus Snake, the third cloned son of Big Boss. He fights with two swords and an exoskeleton. Joji Shinkawa's art is known for using a pencil brush pen. The tip is kind of similar to a pointy black ink brush. He uses strokes in such a stylistic way to emphasize the shades of the character. Most importantly, his line art is not symmetric, meaning he shades and highlights different parts of the character so that we as observers fill in the rest. This type of concept is based on the Sumi-E technique, where one uses a sharp pointed brush to make effective dark gradients and sharp edges. It's somewhat similar to a calligraphy brush. The basic principle of the technique, however, is to keep asymmetry in mind, just as seen in nature, such as trees, lakes and mountains. Although most living beings and man-made objects are symmetrical, he accentuates the details in such a way to keep a cohesive balance while maintaining the correct angle of the light source. The eye corners and iris shapes are the easiest way to conceptualize this approach. Even though people are generally attracted to symmetrical faces, perfect is off-putting. To keep both in balance, he knows exactly which planes on the human skin should be dark and highlighted to keep this cohesion. He draws hair with a large variety of line thickness, curves and shapes while maintaining its volume. Even though he's using strong black and white contrast, the hair is not taking away the attention of the face. This effect is achieved through a good balance of depth. Looking at this image, we can imagine which hair tufts are in front and which are behind. He does this by drawing outlines on the hair in the front and doing the reverse by filling in the volume of the hair further away. That's also one of the reasons why he uses these dark background squares. It capitalizes on the white spaces making it oh so effective. This piece is from Death Stranding. In this case he was the art director and therefore only created a few of them. These pieces are from Left Alive where he was the character designer. A game loosely based on Funk Mission, but as far as I understood, did not match his talent at all. I'm fancy light novel author GP First, currently looking into the art from the Fire Emblem games, a tactical RPG series with many memorable characters. And be sure to check out my books on my author page and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth styles of manga artists of our favorite video games.